Hi, Oscar. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How about you? How are you? I'm fine, too. You are good. Are you working? Yeah, I'm working right now. Oh, okay. All right. And where do you work, Oscar? I work in an industrial company where they work materials for construction. Okay, okay. Eh, solo, solo comentarle a teacher que va, van a haber unos momentos que me voy a, a, a levantar. Por el, eh, o sea, voy a estar en línea, pero voy a estar atendiendo a, a unos clientes. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank okay. You. All right. Thank so, you. all right. Good evening, Rosibel. Good evening, Good evening. Maribel. Good evening, Noemi. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. I'm You're so fine. tired. You're tired, yes. And you know the weather is kind of cold, right? So it's haciendo frío. Sí. It is cold. Yes. Okay. So we are going to start with today's class and we are going to start with a spelling. Okay. Vamos a comenzar con deletreo, spelling. Okay, so let's see. Eh, Rosibel, how do you spell bananas? B, B, A, N, A, N, A, S. Perfect. Noemi, how do you spell cherries? C, H, E, R, R, I, E, S. Very good. Maribel, how do you spell grapes? Grace. Um, J. G. R. I. B. And e. e. S. S. Very good. Uh, Enrique, how do you spell lemons? L E M O N S. Perfect. Um, Oscar, are you there? Well, I think Oscar is busy. Uh, Rosibel, how do you spell oranges? Okay. Yes, oranges. Eh, fíjense que yo a veces me tardo porque yo agrando un poquito la imagen. Ah, okay, okay. Don't worry. Okay. okay. O R A N G E S. Perfect. Yes. Very good. Eh, let me see. Enrique, how do you spell mangoes? Uh, M E N A A A A A A N G O E S. Perfect. Okay, and let me see, Janet, how do you spell melons? M E L O N S. Excellent. So, Rosibel, how do you spell lines? L A Oh no. M E Uy. I I <laughs> yes. L I M E S Very good. Yes. Maribel, how do you spell uh leeches? L um, Y Y C e, H H E 
B, S. Very good. Yes. Well done. Uh, okay, Jacqueline. Okay. All right, guys. So we are going to start with today's class. We have different things that we are going to cover today. And we are going to start with, well, today's agenda, we have the WH questions. So today we are going to base the class on WH questions, okay? We are going to continue with the present continuous and simple present tense, but we are going to base the class with the uh, WH questions, okay? Vamos a repasar WH. But first, we are going to talk about vocabulary. So we are going to learn US dollars and coins, yeah? So what is this? This is one dollar. One dollar. This one? Two dollars. Two dollars. This one? Five dollars. Five dollars. This one? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. This one? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. And this one? dollars. $100. $100. Very good. So those are dollars. Those are bills. ¿Cómo se dice billete? Bills. Okay. Bill. Yes. Very good. Now, coins. Coins. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what is this? This is? One cent. One, one penny. Cent. Or? Penny. penny. One penny. Yes. One cent or penny. Okay. One cent or penny. Un centavo se puede decir. One cent or penny. Yeah. This one? Five cents. Five cents or? Nickel. 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 Yeah. What about this one? Ten cents. Ten cents or? Dime. Dime. Very good. What about this one? 50 cents. 25. 25. 25, 25 cents. Cent. Yes, this one is 25 cents or quarter. 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 Yes. Okay. Una quarter. Okay. So what about this one? 50 cents. 50 cents or half dollar. Half dollar. Okay. Half dollar. And this one? One dollar. One dollar or? Dollar. Dollar. Okay. Very good. Yes. Dollars and coins. Eh, Rosibel, how do you say 10 centavos in English? Mm, ten cent. Ten or, cent. Or cent. Or? Or ten dime. Okay, dime. Solo dime. Dime. Okay, dime, yes. Um, let me see. Um, Enrique, how do you say cinco centavos? Five cents or nickel. Or nickel. Yes, very good. Ronald, how do you say un centavo? One cent or penny. Yes, very good. Excellent. Okay. Vocabulary. Yeah. Don't forget about this. Okay. So then let's move and we are going to start with a speaking, okay? So let me ask you, how much money do you spend during the week? How much money do you spend during the week? How much money? Mm -hmm. I spend and you say the amount. How much money do you spend during the week? I spend $50. Okay. I spend $50 during the week. Perfect. What about you, Eunice? How much money do you spend during the week? Hi, teacher. Hello. How much money do you spend during the week? Um, 
$150. Oh my God, $150. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And what do you want to buy for Christmas? Uh, let me ask Ronald. What do you want to buy for Christmas? Give me two things that you want to buy for Christmas. What do you want? Uh, I want. Compraré. <laughs> oh, no. I, what do you want? Uh, Quiere comprar. What do you want to buy? I want to buy a... Uh, uh, a backpack. A backpack, okay. I want to buy a backpack. Uh, and um, uh, a pants. Oh, some pants. Some, some pants. pants. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Joel, what about you? What do you want to buy for Christmas? Two things that you would like to buy. Uh, Good evening. Good evening, Juan. Um, I want to buy. I want to buy. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. And two parts, the choice. Choice. Come on, zapatos. Oh, oh, two pairs of shoes. Uh -huh. Two pairs I choose. Of shoes. Choose. Shoes. Shoes. Okay. Yes. Very good. And Brian Alexander, where are you going on Christmas? Where are you going on Christmas, Brian Alexander? Where? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Brian. Where are you going on Christmas? I am. I am my bueno, my house. Okay, okay. I'm going to stay at home. Dígalo. ¿Cómo? I am going. I am going to stay. To to stay at home. At home. Very good. Okay. I am going to stay at home. I'm yes. Going to stay at home. Very good. Okay, guys. Let's continue. Look at this, guys. Vaya, fíjese bien. Estamos con las WH. Las preguntas WH. How much? ¿Cuánto? El how puede significar cuánto o cómo, dependiendo del contexto. Ya. Yeah. What significa qué o cuál, dependiendo del contexto. En where, donde. Ok, que no se le olvide. Vamos a tener un examen de las WH ahora. All right. So then, which. Which means cuál. Eh, Ronald, which do you prefer? Android or iPhone? Uh, I prefer uh, a day. I prefer uh, uh, the day. The day? Um, no. Which do you prefer, Android or iPhone? Oh, no, no. <laughs> no lo había escuchado. Android. Uh, I prefer uh, Android. Android? Okay. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. What about you, Giovanni? What do you prefer? Android or iPhone? Good evening, teacher. I prefer iPhone. iPhone. And you, Rosibel, what do you prefer? Which do you prefer? iPhone or Android? Um, I prefer Android. Um, Android. Because iPhone, iPhone, the charger don't like <laughs> okay 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 all right so what about you maribel which do you prefer iphone or android i am um, i prefer android, android. Um, 
Okay. Es que me asaltaron. <risa> me oh. asaltaron porque andé en, en bus, entonces eh, es muy peligroso. Ok, ok. All right, but in this case, you prefer Android. Usted prefiere Android. Android. Ok, all right, thank you. Um, Joel, which do you, pre which do you prefer? Pizza Hut or Papa John's? Uh, I prefer um, Papa John's, quizá. <laughs> yes, right, it's more delicious. And you, Brian Alexander, which do you prefer? Pizza Hut or Papa John's? Yes. <laughs> Prefer Papa John's. Papa John's, right? Really delicious. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. And now, Ronald, which do you prefer, day or night? Uh, I prefer a uh, day. Day. Okay. Why? Uh, because. Uh -huh. um, Eh, puedo hacer más cosas. <laughs> ¿Cómo es? Eh, oh, because I can do more things. I can do more things. Very good. Okay, excellent. And what about you, Joel? Which do, do you prefer, day or night? And why? I prefer mm, night. Because, 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 bueno, I like sleep, sleep. Uh, okay, because I like to sleep. I like to sleep, uh -huh. to sleep. okay, all right. And you, Rosibel, day or night? Um, I prefer to, uh, because, and day, I work. And night, I sleep. And you sleep, okay. All right. Okay, well, uh, yes, it's a difficult decision, but I think that if you yeah. like to sleep, night. I, if you like I to need work, to work. And you need to work, okay. I need to sleep. And you need to sleep, so both, the two of them. Yes, the two of them. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, so let's continue and we are going to start talking about unit three and how to use present continuous WH questions, okay? How to use those. Eh, let's see, Rosibel, help us reading, please, the structure. Ayúdenos a leer eh, todo, todo ese cuadro. Todo, todo, todo. Yes. Um. How, how to use present continuous? Yes. WH question. As for specific information, structure uh, the WH word, uh, como se dice más? Plus. Plus B, plus subject, plus verb. A-I-N-G. Oh, dash. Dash. Plus dash. Yes. Dash. A-I-N-G. Mm, plus ah. complement. Mm -hmm. Plus ah. question mark. Excellent. Okay. Oh, what, when, where, why, which, who, how? How? Okay. How. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Examples. Examples. Uh, eh, ¿Cómo puedo decir? Uno. Number one. Number one. Uh, dot A. Why is he meeting the new people today? Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Two. Okay. A, when is the new office launching? Launching, uh huh. Three, dot A, where is your boss having the annual meeting? Okay. A, B, because it, it is launching on in. 
Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. So guys, yes, uh, look at this, okay? Look at this, and this is very important, okay? So remember that in English, we have WH questions. So we talked about this yesterday. Do you remember that I told you that those are open questions, okay? Uh, las WH, guys, son las preguntas abiertas porque nos piden que brinde, brindemos información, yeah? So, for example, we have what, when, where, why, which, who, and how, yeah? So, what means que o cual. When, cuando. Where, donde. Why, por qué de pregunta. Which, cual. Who, quién. Who, quién. Yes, and how, cómo. Yes, remember that, who. Who, como con una J. Who. who. Yes. So, if I ask you, why, por qué, why is he meeting the new people today? So, look at the structure. W-H, okay, plus the verb to be, that is is, plus the subject, he, plus the verb in ing, meeting, plus the complement, the new people today, and the question mark. Why is he meeting the new people today? Because, ¿por qué de respuesta? So, if I ask you, why is he meeting the new people today? Give me an answer. Because, because their, their first because they, they work. Excellent. Because they work. Yes, could be. Okay. Very good. So then, number two. When? When is the new office launching? When? It is launching on? When is the new office launching? It's it's on it is launching on Monday. On Monday, y la fecha específica porque llevamos on. On Monday, 17. Ok. Recuerde que siempre que vemos eh, la fecha específica. Ok. On Monday, 17. All right. So then, okay. yes, number three. Where is your boss having the annual? Pronunciación, annual, como una ñ. Yes, so where is your boss having the annual meeting? Where? Give me a place. In a hotel. In a hotel, okay. Very good. Yes, excellent. So now let's fill the blanks using the words in parentheses. Okay, so we have the first one, guys. What company are you working for? Rosibel, what company? Listen to my question, okay? What company are you working for? I, I work. Mm -hmm. I work in a Macasa factory. Excellent. Very good. Number two. What is the question, number two? Uh -huh. Number two. How is he dividing the group? Excellent. How is he dividing, okay, dividing, dividing, okay, dividing, the groups. So now, if I ask you, how is he dividing the groups? Give me an answer. Uh, invent. Invent an answer. How? 
how is he dividing the groups? How? Mm -hmm. Or keep people? Okay. Yes, he is dividing the groups with three people. Okay. Yes. Very good. Number three. Uh, when? Is she handing the checks? Is she handing the checks. Very good. When is she handing? Cuando los está trayendo. Okay, pueden estar trayendo los cheques. When, when is she handing the cheques? When? Mm -hmm. Possible answers? Yes, when? December, on December 15th. Okay, on December 15th. Okay, very good. And number four, which factory which factory? Verb to be. Is your boss visiting? Yes. Is your boss visiting? Yes. Is your boss visiting this month? Okay. Which factory? Is your boss visiting this month in Bent? Invent an answer. Almapa factory. Okay. Perfect. And number five. Why is the new secretary working? Okay. Why is the new secretary? Working okay, why okay, why is a new secretary working the next Saturday? Give me an answer. Why, why is a new secretary working the next Saturday, guys? Mm -hmm. Because she has to send email, excellent, because she has to send emails. Very good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now let's read. Okay, I need two volunteers. <laughs> Andrea Lisbeth is one. one. And Brian, thank you. Okay, so Andrea, you are Rita, and Brian, you are Luis. Luis, good afternoon. This, this is Rita. Uh, the new secret, secretary, I just want to confirm some inform, information. Hey, Rita. Sure. They need. I want to know who are they, who, who are attending the annual conference this year and where it is taking place. Where? Where? They, they need to stop. Okay. It's attending the conference is taking place in a great, in a great, great when are the material material arrived? Are Did you come? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are arrived on Friday morning. On Friday morning. On Friday morning. Okay, guys. Let me um uh read it for you okay so it says luis good afternoon this is rita the new secretary i just want to confirm some information hey rita sure tell me i want to know 
who are attending the annual conference this year? And where is it taking place? Well, the IT, IT, IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay. Let's see. Do you have questions about vocabulary? Doubts? Green, questions? Green room. Green room, yes. Great room in the great room. Uh, en el salón grande. Supongo que ese es un salón que ellos tienen en su empresa. Okay. Es como el nombre del salón. In the great room. In el salón. Great. Yes. Great es como decir en el gran, en ese contexto como un gran, en el gran salón. En la sala principal, en el salón principal. Great. Great. Uh, taking place. Taking place. The conference is taking place. Eh, ¿dónde, se, eh, ¿Dónde se va a realizar? Uh -huh. La, confer okay. la conferencia se está realizando o se realizará en este caso. Ok. Uh -huh. Se realizará. Taking place. Donde se da un evento. Ok. Yes. Ok. Let's complete the questions. All right. So use the conversation above to help yourself. Ok. This conversation. All right. WH questions. Number one, which is the WH question that we should add? Let's see. Uh -huh. WH. What are the material arrived? Yes, it is going to be when, okay? When are, this in la conversación. When are the materials arriving? Here we have. When are the materials arriving? Number two. The staff <laughs> is, the is attending. Okay. The Ahora staff vamos, is. Yes. Pero vamos con la WH question. Con la pregunta. Who is attending the conference? Excellent. Who. Okay. Who is attending the conference? And the answer, the IT staff is attending. Okay. But the question is who. Quién, quién va a ir? Who is attending the conference? Okay. And number three. Where? Where is? It? Where is the meeting taking place? That is correct. Where? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And where is the meeting taking place? Where? Where is the meeting taking place? According to this conversation, in the great room, in the great room, correct. Donde, hmm? very good. Donde, okay. Yes. All right, guys. Let's move. Do you have any question? Tiene preguntas? Tiene dudas? All right now. Okay. Let's move. All right. So now is your turn. Ahora es su turno. Fíjese bien lo que va a hacer, ¿ok? It says, think of some future events of your classmates and you are going to write five questions to ask your classmates about those events. Yes. ¿Qué quiero que me haga? Quiero que formule cinco preguntas utilizando WH. WH questions, ¿ok? ¿Cuáles son las WH? ¿Se recuerda? Mire. What? When, where, why, which, who, and how. And the structure is this one. Esa es la estructura porque estamos viendo el presente continuous. Yes. So, the indications. You are going to write five questions, cinco preguntas, y se las va a hacer a su compañero. 
Yes. So five questions. Cinco. Cinco preguntas utilizando WH present continuous. For example, um, what are you doing tomorrow? Ahí está la primera. What are you doing tomorrow? Mm -hmm. What are you doing tomorrow? Mire, y si hubo mi estructura que está aquí, yes. Mire, what are you doing tomorrow? Yes. And then you can say another one with when. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay, when are you going to the beach? Where, where are you having your Christmas party? Yes. You just need to follow the structure. Solo tiene que seguir esa estructura y recordar que estamos viendo el presente continuo. Yes? So, we need to create five. Y se la va a hacer a su compañero. Sí, después le voy a preguntar de su compañero. Ok? Tiene preguntas. No right now? No questions? Ok. All right, so I'm going to create the breakout rooms. The ones that can no go, please stay here in the main room. Okay, los que no pueden ir, se quedan aquí en la sala principal o van como oyentes a la, a la sala, pero le hace saber a su compañero que está como oyente. Okay, para que el compañero no esté preguntando, ¿está ahí? ¿está ahí? Le hace saber al compañero. Si no, se queda de una sola vez en el salón principal. Hello, Brian. Hello, Andrea. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Um, Brian, aquí está el link de la clase, mire. Ahí se lo mandé. Okay. Do you have any question? Tienen preguntas? All right now. No. I think that you are alone, Rosibel. Creo que está solita, ¿verdad? Creo que sí, fíjese. Pero me salía que estaba Carlito Jamaya y Odalis. Sí, creo que están como oyentes, entonces eh, la voy a asignar a otra sala. Vaya, que okay. Vaya. Eh, La voy a asignar. Ok, a la sala 3. Eh, y a Carlos lo voy a mover a la sala. Hello. Hello, Carlos. So um, I am going to drive to my house right now. So okay. that's why I can yes, participate. participate. Yes, I know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, oh my God, I move him. Okay. Uh, Odali, so I'm going to move you as well. Para que solo esté de oyente. And Giovanni. Okay. Thank you, meeting. When is when you meeting your best friend? Okay. 
When are you meeting with your best ah, okay. friend? Huh? When are you meeting? Where, when you are meeting. Oh, no. When are you? When are you meeting Where are you? your friend? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuándo conociste a tu mejor amigo? Oh, no. Eso es cuando te vas a reunir. Cuando te reunirás. Acuérdese que el presente continuo ah, es el futuro, Joel. Ajá, sí, ok. When, pasado, ajá. when are you meeting your best friend? With your best friend. With you, ajá. Yes. Cuando, mm -hmm. Ajá, ok. Ok. Bueno, otro ejemplo, no sé, eh, sería When are you going to the cinema? Mm -hmm. eh. ¿Cómo era? What are you doing? Oh, no. Say it again, Renan. Right eh, when are you going to the cinema? Ah, uh, when are you going to the cinema? Mm -hmm. The meaning how? Teacher, the meaning yes. how? How? Como? How? Uh, um. Eh, no sé si podría ser, teacher. Eh, why is he eating today? What is he eating today? Yes. Eh, esta, when, when are we, when are, are we going to play football? When are we going to play football? Yes. Or you can say, when are we playing football? Right, que es más fácil. When are we playing? Playing. Hot, hot money day, hot money day for Christmas. How many days for Christmas? Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a question. Sí, es una pregunta, válida. I think that how many days for Christmas, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen. 10. I think that's 16, 16 days for Christmas. This is 16 days for Christmas. Okay, ready? All right. Uno de ustedes va a hacer la pregunta cuando estemos en la sala principal y la otra persona lo va a responder. Vamos a hacer al azar. Ok. Ok. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Y, y digamos, si digo, which house live your sister? In which house? In which house lives your sister? O sea, tendría, podría llevar, o sea, que lleva el in antes del, del wish. Yes, en, en esa sí, porque es otra ah. estructura. Uh -huh. Pero es, es, es válida. Yes, it is. Sí. Sí, usted la puede utilizar. Quiero preguntar, ¿cuánta edad tienes? How old are you? Perdón. How old? How old are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Okay.
Okay, are you ready or no jets? Listo or no? Rosibel. Hola, 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 hola. Listo. Falta una. Oh, bueno. Okay. Fly. Hi. Hi. Hola. Quiero. Quería preguntarle si está bien hecha esta oración porque es la expresión. Ok. Continuo. Es que eh, le, eh, la de... Oh, bueno. Play. Who playing tomorrow in the world too? Who is? Who is playing tomorrow? Who yes. Is. Ah, vaya. Pero, bueno. Es, es que me surgió la duda porque... El, simple, el presente continuo a veces se confunde todavía entonces como estaba hablando de ah bueno pero en ejemplo si hablábamos de tomorrow Ajá. Yeah. Mm -hmm. bueno gracias Teacher, yes. entonces la primera no, no va porque le estaba, le estaba preguntando what do you do at work no va es, es el presente simple Ajá. what do you do at work ¿Está bien esa o...? La... Sí está ¿También? bien porque es presente simple, o sea, está bien, no se preocupe. Pero recuerde que eh, si puede formular una con el presente continuo, hágalo. Pero si no, si la hace con presente simple, está bien. Pero si, si me pregunta, what do, you, what do you doing at work? Oh, no. What are you doing at work? What, what What are you doing a word? Are you just time in present continuous? I am just time present continuous. Teacher, the 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 second one. Who is playing tomorrow? Tomorrow in the world cup. Sería tomorrow are Argentina playing? Ah, tomorrow Argentina Argentina is playing. Play. Tomorrow, Argentina is playing. Yes, is playing. Otra sería When are you going on, vac on vacation? Where are you going on vacation? Yes, that one is correct. También está bien. Y responda, la verdad. I am going to the beach. ¿Cómo sería? Where? Where are you going on vacation? No, pero quería preguntar when, cuando sale de vacaciones. Ah, cuando, ok. When. So, entonces, when. Sería when. When, when are you going? Ah. On vacation. Okay. La vez antes salga, ¿eh? Ah, sí. Salgo el, el, con, ¿cómo se llama? el primero de julio. Entonces sería, I, I going on vacation July 
Yes, I am going. No, sí está bien. Uh, Solo le faltó el verbo to be, el am. Pero está bien. Uh -huh. Ahora, haga una usted una pregunta, de Brian. O se iba a formular, no, se iba a formular también así, ¿verdad? Con presente continuo. Yes. Ok. Um, la que mandó Ronald, que dice, which place do you work in next week? Sería, where are you, where are you working next week? Where? Where. Uh -huh. Next week. No. Okay. Sería, where are you working next week? ¿Dónde? Porque en este caso no sé si quiere decir qué lugar estás visitando o dónde estás trabajando la próxima semana. Es dónde. ¿En cuál lugar? ¿En cuál lugar que es? Ah, pues where. Sí. where are you working next week? Teacher, which car is you? Which car is yours? Is you? Yours. It's yours? Yes. Digamos para... Che, y ahí, usted comentó que uno va a leer la pregunta y el otro tiene que contestar. Yes. Sí. Correct. Are you ready? Es que ya están las ya están las preguntas, pero no hemos contestado todavía. Ah, ok, ok. So, answer the questions. Sí, responde. Sí. Yes. ¿Cuál sería la primera? Where is your office? Where is your My office. office. Mm -hmm. My office. En este caso, si le pregunta, where is your office? My office is. My office is. En la en plaza. Salvador. Mm, okay. Es que... but, yes. So, uh, where, where is your office, right? ¿Dónde está su oficina? Eso es lo que está preguntando Maribel. Exacto. Yes. Teacher, teacher. Eh, una duda. Este, pero si las preguntas... Hay que hacerla siempre con el con el conti presente continuo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pero, eh, digamos así, eh, que le diga, where is your wife? Eh, no, 
¿Tendría que ponerle algo más para ponerle el, el presente continuo? No, en este caso, eh, esa pregunta que está haciendo Maribel no está en el presente continuo. Está como en el verbo to be. Where is your office? ¿Ya? Entonces, ahí no estamos utilizando un verbo, si se fija. La pregunta no está mala, obviamente. ¿verdad? Pero si quisiéramos preguntar eh, en presente continuo, la idea cambia porque no podemos decir lo mismo utilizando el presente continuo. Ajá. Tendríamos que hacer Pero otra el... distinta. Uh -huh. Ok. En el caso de Where is your cellular, eh, ¿podemos usar esa? Repítamela nuevamente. What is your salary? Salary. Saturday. Sábado. Eh, yo, que yo copié, ¿qué harás el sábado? Oh, ok. No, entonces en este caso tiene que ser What are you doing on Saturday? Ok. Esta se cae así como que digamos, when are you going to the beach? That one, yes. Where are you going to the beach? Yes. Este ya es el presente continuo. Yes. Exacto. Where is the children playing? Where is the children playing? También es presente continuo. Gente, when when are you me with me friends 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 mm -hmm. When are, no. when are you me are with me friends? Friend, friend, friends, 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 friends. 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 Okay, guys. One minute. Y regresamos al salón principal. Eh, teacher, si yo quisiera contestar, eh, when are you going to the cinema? Yes. ¿Está bien que diga I, I will go? Mm, yes, but since we are covering the present continuous, we should use I'm going. No, es, no está mala, pero como le estamos preguntando con el presente continuous, no con el futuro will. Entonces tenemos que seguir como eh, 